when we use EF lenses with the adapter, does the IBIS of the Canon R7 work? What's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to a new video. What do I talk about today? The Canon R7, what about it? Well, this time it's about stabilization, more in the specific, IBIS. Let's start from the beginning. A few weeks ago, a month ago, I made a video to figure out whether the Canon R7 is good for vlogging. I didn't really like what I found out. First of all, I had problem with the autofocus, but I believe that was fixed with the firmware update because now the issue is gone. The second issue I had was stabilization. Whatever I shot was shaky and that's not good. So I noticed that when I use native lenses, RF mount lenses for the Canon R7 and the R6, R8, R3, R5 and so on, they work perfectly. I mean, IBIS works perfectly. However, sometimes it might not work very well with EF lenses with the adapter, or at least that's according to my experience. I mean, I wasn't sure, so I had to test it. And I shot a few samples using three different lenses, all of them EF lenses, which I used on my Canon R7 with the adapter. The EF 16 to 35 millimeters f2.8, Mark II, version two, I heard it both ways. The Nifty 50, the Canon EF 50 millimeters f1.8. And one of my favorite lenses, especially for interview shots and portraits, the EF 135 millimeters f2. Besides being EF lenses and the fact that we need an adapter to use them on our Canon R7, what else do they have in common, these lenses? They do not have stabilization. Therefore, when shooting handheld with the Canon R7, we have to rely completely on the IBIS. So let's see, will it work well? Will it work very well or poorly? Will it work at all? Before we find out, hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't already and check the links in the description to see all my gear stuff and things, my gear. And check the link to Epidemic Sound if you want one month of awesome music and great sound effects one month for free. I recently opened another two channels, one in Spanish and another one in Italian. So if you speak or understand these languages, make sure you check them out. All right, so let's start with the EF 16 to 35 millimeters with the adapter without stabilization, without IBIS, I mean, then with IBIS and then with IBIS and electronic stabilization at 16 millimeters. Now the same at 35 millimeters. Now let's see what happens when we use with the Canon R7 and the adapter EF 50mm f1.8 than if the 50. Alright, so what do you think about it? Leave a comment down below and hit the like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. Now we're going to see one of my favorite lenses, the EF 135mm f2, without stabilization, with IBIS, then with IBIS and electronic stabilization. Again, let me know what you think about it.
So what can I say? After watching over and over again the samples, I'm not disappointed of the performance of the Canon R7, of the IBIS of the Canon R7 with the 16 to 35 millimeters. I'm not disappointed, but almost. It's a very wide lens, so it's not hard to, to keep stable. Like when I use it with the Canon R6, when I hold the Canon R6 with IBIS on to film something, then when I go watch the footage, it seems like on a tripod, but with a Canon R7, I mean, it's not bad, but could have been better. It does a pretty good job with a telelens 135 millimeters. Yes, indeed, because you know, it's really, really tight, 135 millimeters. It's so hard to stabilize. I'm surprised, it's pretty good. But what surprised me the most, it's the performance of the IBIS with the Nifty 50. There is such a huge difference from IBIS off and IBIS on, but that's normal, I guess. It's much better than the performance of the IBIS with the EF 135 millimeters and even much better than the performance of the 16 to 35 millimeters. It's just amazing. So in the end, does IBIS of the Canon R7 work when we use EF lenses with the adapter? Well, the answer is yes, it works. With some lenses, it works decently, like in the case of the 16 to 35 millimeters. With some other lenses, it works pretty well, in the case of the 135 millimeters, and it works fantastically with the Nifty 50. All right, I think I don't have anything else to say. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, Smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys the next video. Oh yeah!